What's up YouTube? It's Leanna. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, of course, welcome. So about three weeks ago, David and I went to the Army Wellness Center and we had got a bod pod done. Basically what a bod pod is, it looks like a big egg shaped chair and you just sit in it and it's supposed to give you um, your body fat percentage and mine and his both came back with like basically we're fatties. Which shouldn't really surprise me because ever since we've became drills, we haven't really been working out as much as we should and how we used to and then we also kind of eat like crap as well so this is what inspired this video because when i got those results i started working out more and i started meal prepping and i thought meal prepping would be hard and really time consuming and this is now my third week of it doing it actually doesn't take long it's super easy and you actually save a lot of money. Like I really don't go out and buy as much snacks or even like junk food or meals because I already have everything prepped for the whole day. So this video, of course, to title my intro, is gonna be about meal prepping. And I'm gonna show you just some easy breakfast ideas, lunch ideas, and dinner ideas. So if this is something that you are interested in, go ahead and continue watching. First breakfast idea that I'm sharing with you guys is yogurt with granola. I add strawberries in mine. I don't put it in David's. I also don't count calories or anything like that. My friend Michael recommended my fitness pal. I tried using it and personally, I don't know, I found I found it difficult to like navigate through. But I do like doing the um, suggested serving size. So for this one, it says three fourths of a cup is 90 calories. For the granola, it's 270 calories, but I don't add two thirds of a cup. I'll just add three tablespoons. And then I'll do maybe like three slices of strawberries in mine. So here's mine, it's the yogurt with the strawberry and then the granola on the side. I put it on the side because if not, it'll get soggy. And then here's David's, his is just plain what granola on the side. So the next one we're gonna do is overnight oats. I'm gonna do two different flavors. I'm gonna do a vanilla one and I'm gonna do a chocolate one. They're both gonna have the honey almond butter, cinnamon, and a banana in it. I have half a cup of oats in each of my bowls. Then I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna add a half a cup of almond milk to each bowl. So we have our cinnamon inside of our bowls. I'm gonna go ahead and add the honey almond butter, two tablespoons to each bowl. Okay, these ones are done. I won't add the banana until the morning that I'm gonna eat it just because I don't want the banana to get all soggy. For lunch, I like to do different salads with chicken. I usually get the chicken tenderloins. However, with this whole coronavirus craze thing that's going on, this is the only chicken that they had at Walmart and I was actually really lucky to find this. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut these in half since they're so thick, season them, and then I like to grill my chicken instead of baking it because I feel like when you bake it, you just lose a lot of the juiciness from it. My chicken's cut up and it's rinsed. I rinsed it with vinegar 
I am going to add my seasonings now. So I have black pepper, garlic powder. I love garlic powder, so I do add a lot of that. Salt, some adobo, and then I am going to separate some of this chicken for dinner time. So I'm not going to add the Italian seasoning to that part. But for the ones that's going in the salad, I will add Italian seasoning too. So the same time that we have our chicken cooking, I just like to prep everything else for dinner as well. So that way once everything is done, I could just start putting everything together in the bowls and I'm not wasting any time and it goes by so much faster that way. While the chicken is cooking, we're gonna start on our rice. I have the oven right now just a little above medium to get this pot nice and hot. I'm using jasmine rice. I'm gonna use chicken broth instead of water because I feel like the chicken broth just really enhances the flavor better. We have tomato sauce, we have some chicken seasoning, some garlic powder, some salt, and then also some olive oil. I have a cup and a half of rice inside of our pot. I'm just gonna put olive oil over it, and then I'm gonna mix that together so that the olive oil is coating all of the rice. Really bad at measuring things out, but I have tomato sauce here. So I'm just gonna do a few spoons of this. Oh, well, that was a freaking fail. Adding our chicken seasoning, our garlic powder, and some salt. I added two and a half cups of the chicken broth to it. I'm gonna wait for this to boil a little. Then I'm gonna put it on low, cover it, and then just let it sit. So while the rice is cooking, we're gonna get started on our beans. I'm gonna be making black beans. Um, I'm gonna use some sazon, some adobo, garlic, sofrito, recaito, tomato sauce, olive oil, salt, and then instead of water, chicken broth. Um, I don't know, I'm Puerto Rican. This is the way my mom taught me to make my beans, so this is the way that I make it. Of course, you could go ahead and make your black beans however you feel like it. I'm gonna cover this, and I'm gonna put it on between medium and low, and then just let it simmer. While all of this is cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and get started on our other dinner. So I'm gonna put the stove for 425, and then just let it preheat. While the oven is getting warm, I have sweet potatoes, broccoli, and green beans. And I'm gonna chop these up, and I'm gonna make these into little smaller pieces. Then I'm gonna coat them with olive oil and some fajita seasoning. So I'm gonna put these in the oven now. And they're gonna be for 10 minutes. And then I'm gonna mix them and then put them in for another 10 minutes. David is over there being a creep. 
So one bag of this leafy romaine is able to make us four salads. So I just have them evenly divided in between these bowls. And then I have the chicken that we grilled divided in between each bowl because each salad is going to have obviously the lettuce and the chicken. First one we're going to do is the Caesar salad. So we just have our Caesar dressing, some shredded Parmesan cheese, and then also our cheese and garlic seasoned croutons. Three of our salads are Caesar. I did two tablespoons of the shredded Parmesan cheese and one fourth of a cup is 110 calories. I did eight pieces of the croutons and five pieces is 30 calories. And then the dressing actually has a lot of calories. Um, it's 120 calories for two tablespoons and that's what I have here. And I have the dressing just in a little condiment containers and then the croutons I have in little Ziploc baggies so that way nothing gets soggy before we eat our salads. I didn't want two Caesar salads like David does so for my last salad I ended up doing fresh mozzarella. I did about four of these. I did six uh, grape tomatoes and I just cut them in half. Um, I have two tablespoons of the balsamic vinaigrette and then I also did same thing eight croutons like my other salad so that is this one. For the days we aren't going to be doing salads for lunch, we'll do tuna. So we have sweet and spicy, lemon pepper, honey barbecue, and then just a regular and sunflower oil. And I like mixing those with the avocado oil mayonnaise. And this I don't prep because they're just already in little packages. So what I'll do is just the night before, I'll throw some mayonnaise inside of a bowl. And then I'll add some salt and pepper to that. And then just take this with two slices of bread and I'll have a tuna sandwich for that day. Also, this is the bread that I used, 100% whole wheat and honey bread. And this one only has 110 calories per slice. Our first meal for dinner is the sweet potatoes that we roasted and the broccoli and green beans with the chicken that we had on the side that we didn't put the um, Italian seasoning on. I ended up putting barbecue sauce on them. This is the barbecue sauce that I'm using. It's the G. Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce, hickory flavored, and it has only 10 calories and the serving size is two tablespoons. It's also gluten-free and so this only has two carbs per serving. The last dinner that I made is a burrito bowl. So I had used for this one beef, this one I used chicken. Now the beef I seasoned the same way that I seasoned the beans except I didn't add any chicken broth to it. I used I used uh, how much? two third cups of rice and one third cup of black beans. I also did one third of corn and this is the corn that I used. And then I have um, lettuce, the lettuce that I used for the salads. Um, this is homemade salsa right here. And then I use some of this Fiesta blend cheese just to put on top of it. And then right here I just have a lime cut up. So this is what's for dinner. So these are just a few of the snacks that I'll pack for us for throughout the week. So I'll do like baby carrots and hummus or the cashews and cranberries mixed with some slices of cheese, apple, peanut butter, and then also just a few of the dried mango. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Go ahead. Leave a comment below if you like this video and you want to see more videos like this. I had actually did a poll on my Instagram and 95% of the people who actually voted said that they wanted to see this video. So until next time, bye guys.